What's going on, people? You and back again. Uh, today we're taking a look at the Mattel Masterverse Shira figure. Uh, let's get started. Uh, so I'll make this quick. So get some size comparisons out the way. Uh, so, <clears throat> so we'll do uh, her contemporary. Everybody wants to pure these two so this is a Mattel also a Mattel figure uh the Wonder Woman get a come right to Janae in here for you arts see that uh bring in the storm collectibles there's Chun-Li uh See who else? Uh, before I get to uh, a lot of multi stuff, I'm gonna uh, compare her too. So here's a uh, make sure she stands uh, light lightning series. Rami, and Before I get to her, uh, do Murray Hill. So this is the new Marvel Legends uh, female body that they're gonna reuse to death. So we'll see see how she stacks with that. Maria Hill. Here's a Jasmine figure. Uh, I keep forgetting how to say her name, uh, but there she is. So there's that. Um, before we get to Motu self, we'll also a contemporary. Um, right now I have two of my favorite females from the 80s together. The Motu 70s Jatara. Which actually, she stands a little bit taller than her. Um, which is crazy because the Motu Classics kind of stands taller than a little bit. Um, I'll bring this back out, but uh, just to show that. Uh, but here's the Origins version. Uh, bring her back out in a minute. So, bring in. Her brother. Uh, and since I got him here, bring in the. Uh, I think she goes can go with either one if you want to put on the uh, 40th anniversary version. He man. So you have that. The options. Uh, Since uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but here's a uh, battle Tila. I think it was battle ready Tila. Um, uh, two classics. Uh, you no, know, they don't stand taller. <laughs> they are about the same size. So you put them together. Uh, oh, I should have kept her there because. I forgot her name. I, I do have a video up of her. Uh, you have to go back a while. But here is from the Princess of Howard's line. So, and this actually does go pretty well. They actually go pretty well together. So, it's that. And the last one is actually Adora. I can make it work, but you can see that her, the Mo2 Classics head is a bit wider than the multi, um, uh, Masterverse version. So I hope down the line, uh, Mattel will do uh, a Dora. So, and we can use a Prince Adam too. So hopefully we down the line, we'll get that. I'm gonna leave her there. Um, 
but I wanted to say this before I get into our accessories. Uh, uh, check out Action Figure Addict 112's channel. Um, he had a podcast. Uh, me and him did a podcast. And when they first announced this show what this packaging looked like and uh, showed her in figure form, I, I was just hoping they wasn't going to do what they did. And you can even you can you can hear on that podcast or whenever whichever one it was um, that I did not like that they was making her a deluxe figure and getting her. She is not. I don't still don't think she was could have been a, a regular release. I don't think she was a deluxe, especially since neither cape is wired. So. Uh, now it's thirty two dollars. I still think she should have been a regular release. Uh, do not. You think I'm crazy? Remember, she was a regular release. She came with an extra head. Uh, three sets of hands. Uh, hands. That staff. This staff. This. And I think something else. So, and she really comes with another cape. Uh, let me bring her back in. This longer cape, and I think it's meant to be more like this. And I, I think I'll talk about that too. But the, so I was thinking this was going to be the one that's wired. It's not wired. Is this regular cloth, which I'm not, I'm mean regular soft goods, which I'm not mad about, but if this is supposed to be a deluxe figure, at least this one could have been wired. Or she could have came with another head, a head without the, uh, without her crowns on. If she does come with another head, this is one. Oh, let's see if I get that focus on that. I'm using my phone, so I don't know how this works. But yeah, that's the other head. Uh, her shield, of course. Or you could have at least made this a real something, like not even a real, but not painted. That's plastic paint. Now this is the, this is what the, it could have been something like that with the, at least could have did that with the shield. So that all the the original Prince of the Power lines came with a, these kind of gems, and the multi classic one did. So why couldn't we get that with this? If this is a deluxe figure, but neither here nor there. For a sword, also could have had that in it because the doors does. And this is another pair of hands, so one to hold the sword a left hand and a right hand a right fisted hand. So that's pretty much what she comes with. So uh, this is the little two classes one. This is the Masterverse. You tell me for a deluxe figure, this couldn't have been something like this. Something after the actual. Real, like something like that. That makes it look like it's an actual ruby in there. Instead of something painted. Deluxe figure. I'm just saying that if this is supposed to be a deluxe figure. Which I don't. I think this should have been a regular release. But. But you see, the swords are kind of the same. That, but the Master Verse is longer. So. That's, so, there's that. Um, so, I'm just, this just my thoughts. So, um, one thing though, uh, one problem I don't like is, since this hair, this is a hard material too, and it's heavy, it's that, got the storm problem where 
makes her look like up or like she's always looking like that. This should be like the normal, but it's always going back, so she's kind of always looking slightly up. And I think that's on all of them. It's not just mine, because I there were three there when I found this one. So and they were all had this kind of have her had her like this, like she was always looking up. So I think they need to work on that, making this. I don't know. They got it right with a uh, evil Lynn. It's kind of the same materials, but I think they it could have been lighter or something because it's that is weighing her head down when she's looking up. Well, I will say this head works a little bit better. And I think they knew that because they this is the head they have on the package on the back of the package. Um, and this thing, I mean, it slides on on her. This is like one of the best accessories, though it's not wired. But the way it fits on her is. Let me show you real quick, and then I'm gonna get out of here because I didn't think I was going on wrong with this one. Well, oh, but oops, not my camera. I'm just gonna show you. See, it slides on there, and no peg, or nothing. So uh, Hasbro, you can take a lesson from Mattel for once. So yeah. So I'm gonna try to get another one, so I can have one with her like this, and uh, have her looking like more like the cartoon show. So uh, let's put this head on so you can see. So I think I'm gonna get another one. So have one displayed like this, and the other one regular Chiba. But this head works, I think, much better. It doesn't sit have that way back. It's not, I think it's because of this. The uh, that helps. So I may actually put the other head on this along with the cape too. I don't know. Uh, I'm still undecided. So. Oh, is this probably that? Probably works better. Yeah, it works better with this. Um, so you don't have her head uh, always slightly looking up. So, so I may leave that on her like that. I'm not sure. I just wanted a classic she one look. So and the you know, multi classics one and are up there in price. So waiting for this one. So. But yeah, if you're a she fan like me or you don't want to pay like over $100 for one, yeah, um, starting to show up in Targets. Um, <laughs> I wanted to get off on another tirade, uh, but tells about the part of the other company that's, you know, they're the one that's worse than Hasbro with their distribution. Because I haven't seen none of the single carded ones in, in the Walmart and Target in a while since... We keep getting the uh, way with Fisto and uh, uh, Stinkor. They keep getting restocked. But we're, that wave is done. We should have had uh, another wave. I, I, I just recently found the Merman in a Walmart. He was the only thing there. So, But that's a rant for another day. So this one went longer than I thought it was going to be. So. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. If you get a chance, pick her up. Um, it's been my thoughts on it. So thanks for watching. Thanks all the subscribers. Uh, stay tuned for more. And until next time, Dust Sports Scalpers. Peace.